And if you don't move, one must move forward with eviction. With that, we bring in Bob Bianchi, attorney and counselor at law. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. Uh, all right, Wild West here, but are the unvaccinated a protected class for housing law? Well, we'll find out with this case, Leland. This one is really kind of twisty and kind of heady. So, you know, usually landlords under the law are given a great wide breadth of discretion to do what they think is necessary to protect the health, safety, and welfare of its citizens. But now you have a state law that says that, no, Mr. Alvarez, you cannot do this. You cannot require that people show a vaccine passport, if you were, if they've been vaccinated. So it's going to be interesting. And I think where the wiggle room in this case, Leland, interestingly, is going to be the law says for patrons and customers and also with regard to places that sell goods and services. So I believe what the landlord's lawyers are going to do here is say these aren't goods and services. These are not customers and patrons. They are property owners, if you hmm. will, quote unquote, through a lease. So the interesting twist here, will the, will the governor and the legislature say, you know what, let's add landlords and tenants into this law. And then if they do that, you're going to see a real court face off on this one. Well, and it's in Florida where Ron DeSantis, we know, likes, likes to have these fights. He views them as politically expedient. If this was, for example, say in New York, then the, the landlord would be just fine. Yeah, there, there's no question about it. And that's okay. the problem with what we have here. We have the disparate treatment in different states handling things differently. And that's why ultimately these issues are probably going to go to the federal courts because the federal courts have a better, wider jurisdiction across the entire country. But even in the federal courts, Leland, they're split on a lot of these issues. Uh, we found this with the, from a tweet from the Occupy Democrats, which are folks who are normally uh, against eviction uh, and they love the eviction moratorium, but they sent out this news story and said, retweet if you support uh, the landlord's move. Uh, would the eviction moratorium as it stands protect people from being evicted for being unvaccinated, which would sort of throw this into a whole nother orbit? I don't think so. I think the eviction moratorium is with respect to people who cannot financially afford uh, okay. to live in their homes. That can be debated. This is a little bit of a different issue because it's, it's talking about vaccines, not money. Huh. All right. Well, the, the rhetoric continues. Um, remaining unvaccinated in public, according to one CNN analyst writing the Washington Post, should be considered as bad as drunk driving. Uh, you kill somebody drunk driving, there's special penalties. Uh, versus just getting into a car accident. If you give, does this mean that if you give somebody COVID and you are unvaccinated, is there a way to charge you with a crime? You know, that, Leland, we kind of touched around the edges on this uh, on, on another show that we did here. That's a great question because if you know you have some sort of lethal disease, it's not the first time that this issue has ever been presented, and you do not uh, do anything to prevent somebody else from getting it, it could be considered reckless. And sometimes in the criminal statutes, recklessness that causes a death what, is what Weren't there some laws about that with HIV at one point? Yeah, they, they, there were actually a lot of discrimination that went on with respect to it. So to your point, how the tables have flipped with regard to the people on the political spectrum, there's no question about it. But the courts aren't going to care about the conservative side or the liberal side. They're going to care about the legal side, whether or not it's lawful. All right. Hey, Bob, great conversation as always. Thank you for it. And uh, the legal fights will continue with COVID for sure. You got it, Leland. Thank yeah. you. Well, speaking of COVID, this map from the New York Times caught our eye.